Hey Playmakers, in this video we're going to be looking at arrays and hash tables in this very beginner look at Array Maker. We're going to be going through all the features to see what each one does. So assuming you already have the Array Maker package installed, I clicked on the main camera and I went to Playmaker, Add-ons, Array Maker, and we're going to be looking at ArrayList Proxy first. So you'll, right here you'll see the script and you'll see reference, events, and pre-filled data. The reference here is the unique ID that each array action is going to be looking for. So I'm going to set this for the example to array1. And the prefill type, I'm going to set it to string. And something to note here is that the prefill count, when I set it to 3, it's at 0, 1, and 2. This right here is the index value. So if any action is looking for the index value, you'll know that it starts off with 0. This is the item type right here. We're going to leave it blank for now because we're going to be adding our own action here called array add, array list add. Here it's looking for the unique ID. One. And we're going to be adding a string with the variable hello world. Now we have enable events. So first let's make sure this works. We have hello world here. If we set this to live update, what it does is that if I removed it or added a new one or changed this, then it would update live. So now what we want to look at is the events. I have add, set, and remove. Now I'm going to set this event. I'm going to title it as add, set, and remove to keep things simple. And if you hover over it, you're going to get some information. But to go over it in this video, what each one does is that if I ever add anything into this array, into this array list, then it's going to fire off the event add. So first I have to add the event add, and I'm going to add that in. And right now I'm going to hit control, click, and have a new state created. So once it gets added, then we'll shoot off this event. So let's see if it works. All right. We also have set and remove. If we go into the state two, we're going to add an array set. I'm going to create a new action and add array remove. And if we go to set, what we want to look for here is the reference, the unique ID, which is array one. The index, which is zero, our first index. And then if it's set, let's add that event. We're going to change that to string the, we're going to set or change the zero index from hello world to hi world. And make sure that this goes to state three. And let's add our last event, remove, which we've named in the array list. You have to hit enter. And we're going to remove the high world at the reference array one. If we fire this off, it should go all the way to the last one because it fired off each of these events. That'll come very useful in your own project. So let's look at hash tables now. Playmaker add-ons, Raymaker, hash table. Now you'll see that it's pretty similar. It has a unique ID, which we'll set to hash one for this example. And we have the prefill type. We're gonna leave that as a game object. And we have condensed view and live update, which says the same as the live update here but condensed view will let us change the view here. Now, the biggest difference between hash tables and arrays are these guys right here, the keys. We get to set our own index value that we want, but they're called keys here. So I'm gonna set this to red, red key. I'm gonna create a new game object for this example and call it red key geo and I'm gonna add that in 
And then I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to name this blue key geo. And for this example, what I'm doing here is that I'm showing how keys can be useful. Let's say that the main camera was instead a player and the player was going to open a door, but it already has the red key in its inventory. The hash one could be named inventory. So since it already has that, we have an action here in hash that is contains key. So let's add in the blue one with the key blue key. The reference is hash one. And we're going to add in the game object blue key because we're saying that the blue player already has a red key and just picked up the blue key. And we want to say that if it triggers an event like going up to a door, then let's see if it contains these keys. Hash one contains key red key and if key event found and we'll do key found for the event and we're going to add this action here and call this one blue key same thing key found And what we can do here with contains key is that if we had a bool it will trigger it as true if it does contain that key. Alright, so we're adding it. Now we have blue key and red key. So I'm going to click the trigger and it found the first one and the second one, the door should open because it's true. And that is, that is basically hash and arrays. It has tons of actions for each one. So if for your own project, just look into the, let's see here, the array list and hash table for any of these actions and see how they can apply to your own project. If you have any questions for a particular action or would like to see a video on, on something related to this, then let me know in the forums or on the YouTube page because I'm more than happy to help out. And if this has helped you in any way in your project or game, just share it on the forums because we'd love to see that too. Happy playing makers.